Now let's derive the values of the coordinates in the unit circle. Now, coordinates of the unit circle came from the special right triangles that you've seen in geometry. So when you had a geometry class, you've already seen the first special right triangle, which is the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And the second triangle, or the second special right triangle, is the 45, 45, and 90 degree triangle. Now, the measurement of each side of those special triangles have its different measurement. So for the 30, 60, 90 degree angle, the hypotenuse of this triangle will measure 1, and we will use this in our unit circle. And uh, the length of the longer leg of this particular triangle will be square root of 3 over 2. And the side length of your shorter leg will be 1 half. So you need to remember these values because these values are what you will see on the coordinates of our unit circle. Now this one is the first uh, special right triangle and the second special right triangle will be the 45, 45, 90. And in this triangle we have its measurement as well. So since a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle is an isosceles triangle, the legs of this triangle will have the same measurement which is square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2. And the unit circle, I mean the hypotenuse of this triangle will also be equal to 1. Now, the reason why they have the same measurement for the hypotenuse is because it follows the measurement of the unit circle with race, um, radius 1 unit. And we're going to have that in the next slide. Now, before we can tell um, the coordinates of the unit circle, you need to remember how the xy plane work in a regular graph. So we know that the vertical axis in an xy plane will be your y axis and the horizontal axis in an xy plane will be your x axis. But that's for the xy plane. And since we're using a unit circle, the values of this coordinate will be different. Before, we're using x and y for xy plane. Now, we're using cosine and sine as a value as a value of x and as a value of y for a unit circle. So if we have a point right here, this point may represent as positive 3 and positive 4, but this time, this point along the circle in the unit circle will have something to do with cosine and sine, which is the angle measurement in our special right triangle. Now this is our unit circle. One important thing that you need to know about the unit circle is the sign of the values in each quadrant. For the first quadrant of your unit circle, the values of your x and y, or cosine and sine this time, will be positive and positive. And for the second quadrant, the values of your ordered pairs will be negative and positive. And for the third quadrant, we have negative and negative. And for the fourth quadrant, which is right here, will be the values of cosine and sine, which has positive and negative sign respe respe respectively. Now, let's have our first triangle for the unit circle. So let's use the 45, 45, 90 degree angle. Now, we know that the measurement of this triangle, or this leg of this triangle is square root of 2 over 2, and the measurement of this side of the tr triangle is also square root of 2 over 2. Now, if we form a 45 degree triangle in the unit circle, the tip of your triangle will be on the unit circle. And this unit circle has an ordered pair. And the ordered pair of this unit circle is determined by the legs of your triangle. So the x-axis, which is square root of 2 over 2, will measure square root of 2 over 2 for your cosine value. And for your sine value, it will also be square root of 2 over 2 since it's a 45, 45, 90 degree angle. So our first ordered pair for our unit circle will be square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2 for cosine and sine from the 45 degree triangle. Now let's have the uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle. Now the long leg of your 30, 60, 90 triangle is measured square root of 3 over 2 and the measurement of your shorter leg will be 1 half. If we paste our 
triangle, this special right triangle, in our unit circle, we will notice that it will touch another point on the unit circle. And this point right here will have our new ordered pair, which is the coordinate of an angle formed by 30 degrees. And for this triangle, the ordered pair for this point right here in our unit circle will be squared of 3 over 2 and 1 half. So cosine is squared of 3 over 2 and sine will be 1 half. So that's our second ordered pair. And for our third ordered pair, we'll use the 60 degree triangle because we already have 30, we have 45. Now let's have the 60 degree triangle. It has the same measurement and I'm going to place my triangle So that is your 60 degree triangle and the ordered pair for this point right here on the unit circle will be determined by your special right triangle. So the x value, which is the horizontal line or the horizontal leg will be 1 half and your y value will be squared of 3 over 2. And since we're working with unit circle, it's not just x and y, it's basically cosine and sine. Now, this three values right here on our unit circle will just be repeated on the rest of the unit circle for the second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. The only difference will be the signs of each of them. And I'm going to show you a complete set of a unit circle based out of the special right triangle that we learned in or we've seen in um, geometry class. And here's our unit circle. And in this unit circle, you will notice that we have several coordinates. And the coordinates just repeat. So for 30 degrees, we have square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half for cosine and sine. And for 45 degrees, we have square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2. And for 60 degrees, we have 1 half and square root of 3 over 2. Let's have some examples. So we have here sine 30 degrees, cosine 5 pi over 6, sine negative 30 degrees, and cosine negative pi over 2. To find the values of these special angle, we will use the unit circle. So for sine 30 degrees, so we'll look at 30 degrees, and for 30 degrees we have two ordered pairs. We have square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. And since we're looking for sine, we're not going to use square root of 3 over 2. Sine 30 is 1 half because we're looking for the sine value. And for cosine 5 pi over 6, check your unit circle. 5 pi over 6 is right there at the second quadrant. And 5 pi over 6 will give us negative square root of 3 over 2 for the value of our cosine because cosine is the x value in the unit circle. Now for sine negative 30 degrees, we're not using positive 30, we're using negative 30. So we're going to rotate our terminal side clockwise. So 30 degrees or negative 30 degrees is equal to positive 300 or coterminal with 330 degrees. So therefore, the value of sine negative 30 degrees will simply be negative one half. And for cosine negative pi over 2, negative pi over 2 will be on the, which is opposite, which is 90 degrees. And 90 degrees is right there at the top of the unit circle. But since we're working on a negative uh, value, it's simply the 270 degrees, therefore cosine negative pi over 2 is equal to 0. And that's how we use the unit circle to find the special angles of our triangle.